Alright guys, DarkDev5000 here again. So I've decided to do a tutorial on how to fly specifically targeted at console players, so Xbox and PS4. I want to get this general perception that the PS4 and Xbox players are bad. Uh, many of you, you seem to think that a controller player can't match a mouse and keyboard and you couldn't be more wrong. So in these videos I'm just going to be showing you how to fly on a controller breaking it all down into sections um, you know, if I can do this so can you so I want you to get this negativity out of your heads alright so first things first just get rid of the default controls just totally scrap them um, these are just terribly thought out they don't include any proper pitch or flap control and you're just not going to be able to match the PC players with these so they're only going to hinder your performance So. If you really want to succeed in War Thunder, I hate to break it to you, but you're going to want to spend at least a few hours setting up your controls. If you haven't already, give my control video a watch on the channel. Uh, I keep it updated with all the latest tricks that I'm using. Uh, and over the years, I, well, I've pretty much refined my controls. So I've done most of the hard work for you already. I'll put a link to my controls video in the description. Now if you don't like my setup for any reason, whatever, there are plenty of other controls on YouTube so give them a try. The most important control function you're going to want is the max pitch button. So you're going to want some kind of max pitch of some kind. Um, this is the one button that's going to separate you from the rest of the, the players. And it's going to help you compete with the PC players, keep you alive. So if you've ever seen the PC players in action 90% of the time, all they're really doing is pressing this max pitch button. So the the flat turns, um, the, the rudder turns they do in arcade, things like that, um, that's what they're using to do it. So they've got the max pitch set up. Let's have a few examples now so you get the general idea. So personally I'm using L1 and R1 for my max pitch. I press and hold both of these together and the plane pitches up. Now provided I don't press any of the other buttons or move any sticks on the controller, this is going to put the plane into a continuous loop. So again, as long as I keep this held down it's going to be in a continuous loop, so it's going to keep doing this over and over. Now if I start to do this in combination with the right stick, so I'm, I'm still holding the max pitch here. So if I start moving the right stick, this is going to turn it into somewhat advanced manoeuvres. So you know, you've got barrel rolls, um, yo-yos, uh, even scissors, and so on. So virtually every move in the book is initiated with a combat, um, sorry, with a pitch up. So as you can imagine this opens up a lot of possibilities and it's going to be what separates you from the rest of the players. Once you learn how to master this and put it into the right situation you're on your way to becoming a fairly decent pilot and you're going to start moving up to scoreboard and being a viable asset to any team. Now the other possibility Max Pitch opens up is it's a secondary way to look around. So again, I'm holding the max pitch here, and I'm actually moving the left stick now, so I'm moving the cursor around. And if you notice, the plane is no longer following. Now you might be wondering what's going on here, and it is quite simple really. Now as long as the max pitch is held down, it overrides everything else, so the plane is not going to follow provided this is held down. What this does is it allows me to keep situational awareness in fights uh, and keep track of targets, which again is, is going to be key to success in War Thunder. Um, if you can see your target, then you know you're going to win, or at least it's going to help you anyway. Okay, so here we have one of my recent battles in the BF 109E1. I actually wind up getting five kills here, so I'm just going to run this clip and explain what's going on. So this is a really nice plane you get for the Germans fairly early on. Um, I believe it's a 2.3. Could be wrong. Um, I'll have to check that again.
again. Um, but anyway, it has a good ammo count of 3,000 rounds. It's got four MG17 machine guns, and to top this off, it's faster than most of the planes you're going to meet at this battle rating. Uh, not to mention, it's a fairly decent turn fighter as well. Although I should mention, this plane is a pure energy fighter above all else. So don't get sucked into leading all your speed in turns. Most of the planes you're going to be fighting um, will outturn a 109, so above all else, stay fast and you know, try and keep above your opponents where possible. So here we've just taken off from the airfield and what we're doing is we're going to climb again just to make sure we're above the team. So generally it takes a couple of minutes to get um, to the required altitude in realistic battles. Alright so we're roughly at altitude here. I noticed um, the portairs in front here. Now I know those things can be fairly dangerous, they've got good uh, guns on the front and they, they're fairly quick as well in a straight line. So I'm very cautious about that. And I do start heading over to him. I'm picking up speed here, just getting ready to make any manoeuvres. Get a few shots at him. And just pull off again immediately. Just try and follow him, see what he's going to do. So he's turned around, so I'm going to take an attack run again. More hits. And I get a nice pilot snipe there. That's the first kill of the game. Spitfire here, he's attacking a friendly, so immediately I turn in to give him some assistance. Notice how far away I'm firing from as well. And how far I'm also leading. So again, notice that I didn't actually directly follow the Spitfire. This is an energy fighter, so I don't want to outright follow him. I'm trying to keep my speed up at all times. I've always got an escape route. Again, I'm using the max pick shield. Watch my speed there as well, it was getting a bit fast so I ended up cutting the throttle. And again I pulled off so I didn't overshoot. So I get an assist on that guy. Checking the scoreboard there just to see how many are alive. You can tell um, by the parachute symbols when they've got the parachute, that means they're not in the game anymore. So we're chasing after this Spitfire here. He's on fire. I don't know what happened here. He was on fire, so I took uh, just a shot at him to get the assist, and somehow I ended up getting the kill. So. Uh, I think that's kind of broken there. I guess they've done something recently to the game. But that should have been the other guy's kill. Alright, XF5F um, coming in. Again, picks you up just to avoid his shots there. And then as soon as he's overshot, I start turning into him. And I'm doing a vertical scissors there with L1 and R1, so the max pick. She's held down again there. Uh, and that results in the teammate getting the kill because I slowed him down.
So he looks pretty bad at this point. We've got a typhoon above us, um, and we're down low. Pretty slow as well. So at this point, I'm just kind of um, extending away, trying to get some height. Just watching what's going on around me and being very cautious. Here I noticed the P36 is coming in pretty fast, so I'm, I'm getting a bit of speed up. And I see the friendly there as well, so I'll turn into him. Again, I'm trying to get him to slow down so my teammates can help him out, uh, help me out even. So I'm just avoiding his gunfire really by using the max pitch there. And here I'm just kind of forcing him to react again, so he slows down, but he goes for the teammate instead. You hits on him there, crit. And I think that crit might have actually been um, the pilot injured. So at this point, he's, he's pretty much um, dead. When your pilot gets injured, you just can't maneuver as well. So bear in mind the P36 can outturn a 109 really easily as a, a normal rule. But he, he definitely lost the pilot there, I think. Now notice as well, he was going so slow there, I actually ended up overshooting him. You've got to be very careful with that. And at this point he just goes so slow that you know he can't do anything at all, so I ended up getting the kill there. And then we see the Typhoon. So again I'm turning in to help out the teammates. Just a few hits on the Typhoon there to make him react. And that makes him turn into me, so I get some more hits there. And again, it slows him down so my teammates can help out. And that's going to be another kill. Once they're burning like that, you don't really need to bother following them. That's usually the end of them. That's four kills so far. Now this SPD above me, I know these things can turn fairly well, as long as they have the speed to do so. I also know they can lose that speed really quick if you force them to turn. So again, I'm just going to force him to overshoot so I'm going to avoid by doing the max pitch there and turning away from him and that puts me directly on his 6 so once I'm on his 6 o'clock that's really it, there's nothing he can do although I do have to be careful with this um, Wellington as well So I get his engine pretty good here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough ammo to finish him off, but he's pretty much dead anyway. So I know I've got the kill there. I just fly off, return into base, and he eventually crashes, and I wind up getting the kill. So that'll be my fifth kill, I believe.
So this next clip is a little more advanced. Uh, I just wanted to showcase how the max pitch works in a 1v1 duel situation. So I'm flying the Focker Wolf 190A1 here. Uh, I'm in a custom battle in, um, in, a, in a duel. So this guy's also flying the Focker Wolf 190. I think he's in the A5. So on the merge, I just simply avoid his gunfire by doing the max pitch there. I turn away from him, then I turn into him. Keep to put the um, the wings level with his plane. So I'm still holding the max pitch at this point. Roll out of the way, still holding max pitch just to dip under him and pick up some speed. And now I'm going to pitch up above him just out of his line of sight. So he can't get a shot there. Also, know I'm using the, the takeoff flaps there. Again, I'm still holding the max pitch. I haven't let off it at all in this fight. So at this point, I'm I'm only six, more or less, behind his um his tail there. So I'm just cutting the throttle here to make sure I don't overshoot. And that's it. You, you can't do much at that point. So there, I get a nice shot on him, and he's out. So same again with this next clip, only I think he's flying the 109, which is obviously a more manoeuvrable plane. I still put up a pretty good fight. So again, we're going to merge and I'm going to just use the pitch to roll out of his way. So a max pitch and a slight roll to the left. And I'm just going to pitch up into him and then turn. So again, I'm, I'm just using the L1 and R1 for the pitch there. Again, I'm dipping under him to pick up some speed. I'm going to pitch up and he's going to fly above me. Now bear in mind the 109 can outmaneuver me, so I'm, I'm playing on the defensive here just rolling with the max pitch get him to overshoot so I'll come very close to getting him here but he's just out of my range I didn't follow him there because I know for a fact um, that he had more energy and I would have stalled out. So instead I've just, um, again, I go to his left. He has a slight hit on me there, but I managed to roll out of the way. And again, I can't follow him because um, I don't have the energy to do so. I'm simply rolling out of the way, trying to get him to overshoot again there. But just noticed how you can play on the defensive with this, it, it keeps you alive. In in a real game, this would have gave uh, the team time to come and help. Same again, I just avoided him there. Here I just try and pick up a bit more speed, but I'm I'm already too slow and end up crashing into this the water there. But I put up a, a pretty good fight there. Alright, that's about it. So I've covered 
how to fly, the basic principles there, and what you need to do on Xbox and PS4. So remember that max pitch thing is, is going to save you. Um, that's going to allow you to do the same maneuvers PC players can do. It's going to keep you alive longer and move you up the scoreboard, especially if you can master the maneuvers. So yeah, just keep practicing, guys. Um, I just like to see the console players doing better. Um, you know, I'd like to get this info really out there. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you share it with your friends. Um, subscribe, of course, and I'll keep putting content out like this. Uh, I'm thinking for the next video, maybe a how to aim guide, again, targeted at console players. So yeah, just let me know what you thought in the comments, um, if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, and otherwise, just, just thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support.